In travel news, for March 27th, 2023, we talk about the ongoing protests across France and their effects on travel. But before we begin, I'm Brandon with the Adept Traveler, and this is Today in Travel. More than 1 million people demonstrated across France last Thursday against the controversial pension reforms, which has led to violence in some areas and unions calling for new nationwide strikes and protests this week. Travelers can expect widespread disruptions in the upcoming week as these strikes have already significantly impacted transportation systems. Protesters have blockaded train stations, airports, and other ports, causing inconvenience and delays for those trying to travel within and outside of the country. High-speed and regional trains, the Paris Metro, and public transportation systems in other major cities were heavily disrupted, forcing people to seek alternative means of transportation. Additionally, approximately 30% of flights at Paris Orly Airport were canceled, affecting both international and domestic travel. Those planning to fly during these times should check with their airline for updates on flight cancellations or delays and prepare for the possibility of rescheduling their travel plans. The Eiffel Tower and the Versailles Palace were closed due to the strikes. Other tourist attractions and public spaces may also be closed or have limited access as the result of the protests. Travelers should monitor local news and updates from tourist sites and stay informed about closures or restricted access to popular attractions. Violence has intensified in recent days, with street battles between police and masked groups occurring in Paris and other cities. In Paris, police were pelted with Molotov cocktails, random objects, and fireworks, forcing them to use tear gas to disperse rioters. While many protests march peacefully, the presence of violence groups can pose a risk to bystanders and travelers as unions call for new nationwide strikes and protests on Tuesday. Travelers should anticipate ongoing disruption to transportation and the closure of tourist sites. It is essential to stay updated on the latest news, avoid areas where demonstrations are occurring, and maintain a flexible itinerary to ensure personal safety during this period of unrest. Travelers should also consider having a backup plan, such as alternative transportation options or accommodations. Keeping in touch with local contacts, embassies, or consulates may also provide helpful information and support during this time. By staying informed and prepared, travelers can navigate the challenges posed by the strikes and protests while visiting France. Today in Travel is brought to you by The Adept Traveler, a travel agency that specializes in accessible travel. Our goal is to help all travelers, from the novice to the expert, from the able-bodied to the disabled, to travel well. Until next time, travel well, my friends.